Welcome to the first AFC event, Boxing Edition, and it's a friendly, non-official, light contact tournament where hobbyists and amateurs can test their skills and gain new experiences. Let's get ready to rumble! The third match in this tournament we have in black and blue Shinobi again and all grey it's Karol. Alright. Now both of these guys are tall, they have the, pretty much the same height. Yeah. Shinobi keeps going for the same strategy as before. Which is what Alex was also doing, is using the lead hand to control the distance. So both of them are actually working with the lead hand, focusing on that jab. Okay, that was an attempt at a hook. But yeah, I've noticed there's not much use of the rear hand. Especially if you stand too much on your side. You don't okay. get to use the rear hand very comfortably. As both try to use the jab at the same time, they do collide there. You can see that Shinobi is a little bit more experienced here, as he finds the gap to land some some punches, and also connects up and uh, high and low. Yes, I. The way this this round is going so far, Shinobi is is on the lead, undoubtedly. You can tell that he has more. He's more comfortable. He's more experienced. Yeah, that's. Those hooks are too wide from a long distance. It's better to do use them at a short distance. Okay, that was interesting. Again, in this case, the one that benefits from the shorter distance would be Karol. From from the longer and mid-range, Shinobi has a big advantage there. Okay, end of the first round. There we go, that lead, that was a good counter. But yeah, with the lead hand, Shinobi has a, an advantage here. That's at least how I see it. It's hard to see all the punches connecting though. Seeing the replay, there were a couple of good counters by Carl. Carol. Alright, for round two, let's see if they keep with the same strategy. They're studying each other a little bit more now. See, only having two rounds doesn't allow you to study your opponent too much. When you have a lot of rounds, you get to use the first couple of rounds to analyze and adjust to your opponent's strategy. With only two rounds, it's better to try to be more offensive and make the best use of the time that you have. Yeah, now they're... So, Karol is, is using the orthodox stance. Good counter there. He does switch every now and then. But I do notice Shinobi tends to go for the south paw a lot. As right here, he's on the south paw again. And switches back to the regular orthodox stance. Yes, I think that Karol did get some good counter punches in there. But. Shinobi's punches look more clear and clean to me. I have to. See, we'll see what the judges say. All right, that's a good. He's good with the, that lead jab. Very similar to Alex, except Alex moves around more. But they do both use the lead hand a lot to manage the distance. There we go, with the with that pressure, with the flushing, that's where you break that strategy of using the long jab. That's what Karol should do all the time, just flush him, pressure him. Okay, end of the round. 
I'm curious to see what what the decision will be here. Good counter. Good counter. First to the body, then to the head. Okay, that was a good one. They both connect there. Sometimes these punches are not clear when you look at it at natural speed. Oh, there was a tie. Okay. Well, that was the first. As soon as they started, good couple of punches by Shinobi. The third round is always shorter. Interesting. The problem I see, yeah, they not looking when when they get too close to each other, they don't look where they're punching, which is a normal mistake. But you lose a lot of accuracy like that. Alright. I don't know wh who got this round, we'll see. They both landed a couple of punches. Woo! Okay, good, good. Shinobi, yeah, good point, perfect, you're fine. Good point. 